everyone, welcome back to Rose Stops Buying Stuff. We have got my second empties video of the week today. So we started with makeup empties on Monday night and today we are doing hair care empties. So let's just get straight on into it. I used up three conditioners. So the first one is the Davines Alchemic Conditioner in the copper shade. If you've kept up with my videos, you know I actually already replaced this during lockdown because it does add a little bit of colour to my hair and I absolutely love this product. It's the one that I would repurchase, I think, over any other conditioner that I own. Probably maybe not to use every single time because it does have that bit of colour, but particularly like the last two weeks or so before I'm due to get my hair done again, this does really help sort of extend the, the vibrancy in my colour. So I really, really like this and that was worth $31 towards my reverse rouge total. The second conditioner I used, this one, was worth $4.18 and it's just a little travel size of the Melanin Gats Cilantro Hair Conditioner. This was fine, but nothing special. I probably wouldn't rush to repurchase it. Another Davines conditioner, this is the Love One. I think this is a little bit too heavy for my hair. I have quite fine hair, it gets quite easily weighed down and this really it's a great conditioner but it's just not the ideal one for my hair. But I finished it up and it was worth $30 so worth the time finishing. And the last conditioner actually that I've got is this one. So this is the Kerastas one. It's actually a mask but I put it in as a conditioner and it's for hair that's been exposed to the sun. So generally you can only I can only really use this in summer or if I'm on holiday. I had of course planned to take this to Florence with me. Um, obviously that got cancelled because of the, the lockdown so... I ended up just using it up at home and I did enjoy it. I don't know if I'd rush to repurchase it, like Scotland's a very non-sunny country, so unless I am going on holiday or whatever, my hair's not exposed to that much sun. You know, I don't feel like it fades my colour or anything like that. I think if I lived in a sunnier place, I would repurchase this, but it's not a massive concern for me. And in terms of my reverse rouge, this was worth $39.59, so again, a nice little boost towards my total. I used up three blow dry sprays. First of all the Amica Brooklyn Bombshell. I used that one up and that was worth five dollars. I used this one. I didn't feel like any of the three of these were like the one. They were all all right but I really liked the smell of this one although I didn't really feel like it did great things for my hair volume. So this is by a brand called Beauty Protector and it's the Protect and Volume Volume Spray and this was worth $2.94. And the last one was the Way Volume Spray, which it was fine, but I've definitely used other things that are more effective and this one was worth $4.65. I finished up my mini IGK First Class Charcoal Detox Dry Shampoo. This was worth $14 towards my reverse rouge total. I have the full size of this. I really, really like it. It's a heavy, heavy duty dry shampoo. It's not one for people who don't like the feel of anything in their hair. You know when you have used this, you can feel it in your hair, but it sucks everything up. It really does leave you with like hair that looks freshly washed, even though it won't feel freshly washed. So it depends on how kind of okay you are with texture in your hair which doesn't bother me in the slightest and I absolutely love this so as I say yep I own the full size of it and I will continue to repurchase it once I've finished that one too. I finished this which was worth $22 and it's by Urbe and it's their Mystify Restyling Spray. So what you do with this is you spray it on dry hair the day after you've initially curled it or whatever before you recurl it or restrain it or whatever you're doing. I tend to curl my hair so I'm automatically saying curl. This was fine. It maybe spread the longevity of my style a little bit but I don't think it spread it any more than using hairspray. What what it was good at is that it didn't feel like there was any product in my hair when I used this so again if you're really averse to the feeling of things in your hair this does extend your style's life a little bit but it's not sticky like hairspray at all you really can't tell you've got anything in your hair but I think for me I'm just because I'm putting texture spray in my hair most of the time anyway my hair never feels like there's no product in it as such um so that doesn't really bother me yeah I just didn't feel this was an essential step. I enjoyed having it to use it up and I've got another mini of it actually to use up and I will use it up and I'll enjoy it but I don't think it's an essential part of my hair care routine. Speaking of hairsprays, I used up three 
I don't use a lot of hairspray generally, I generally use texture spray and find that kind of adds enough hold. I had been kind of going through a phase doing sort of 1920s really tight curls and then brushing them out and I used a lot of hairspray when I was going through that little phase at the start of lockdown. So the first one that I used up was the Lee Stafford Stronghold hairspray. This was a little 50ml one worth 2.72. It was fine, nothing... <laughs> I've got nothing really to say about any of these three hairsprays. I used them up, they were fine. I like my Davines hairspray because I like the smell of it. That's the one I'll probably repurchase going forward, but I had no issues using these up. I didn't hate using any of them. They weren't a massive joy to use, but they weren't a massive pain to use. I was pretty indifferent. Um, so yeah, this one was worth 2 72 The second one was the Orbe a freestyler hairspray and this was worth 4.67 and then lastly I used up this one from Wella which was worth 5.73 and very last thing I used were two sashi samples so a shampoo and a conditioner and they were worth a dollar each towards my reverse rouge total so that's another two dollars so all in all we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen 14 items, so 14 items that I used up and they were worth a total of $168.48 towards my reverse rouge total. Things that I will keep in stock going forward once my no buy is done that I would repurchase etc etc. The Davines Alchemic Copper Conditioner and the IGK First Class Dry Shampoo. The rest of it, nothing massively disappointing. I don't have any products and like do not recommend this would avoid. They're all fine. But I just wouldn't rush to repurchase any of them. So thank you very much for watching short and sweet little empties video. Do check back tomorrow. I've got a makeup brush declutter coming for you. And then on Friday we have got a skincare empties video. Which I haven't filmed yet. But which I'm sure will be a fairly long one. Because I've used up a lot more skincare than I have hair care or makeup. So stay tuned for that. Thank you very much for watching. And I will speak to you in my next video. Bye.